Hello and welcome to the Canada Career Hub. My name is Mary Thifonga and right now we will discuss how you can migrate to Canada as a temporary foreign worker. In the last video, we showed you some visa sponsored jobs that you can use to move to Canada with no education or experience. That's a great discovery for unskilled workers, right? You get a free trip and employment. Check more details on the link above once you are done watching this video. Kindly subscribe below and hit the notification icon for more informative content about jobs in Canada and how you can migrate. Now, what is the temporary foreign worker program and what do we need to do to move to Canada through it? This is a program Canadian employers use to hire you as an international employee to fill labor shortages in Canada temporarily. Immigration, Refugee and Citizenship Canada and the Employment and Social Development Canada operate the Temporary Foreign Worker Program to help employers reach you to fill job positions in Canada. The streams you can use to work in Canada as a temporary employee are Number 1. In-home caregivers this job can help you attain permanent residence status in Canada if you will be hired to take care of children or to take care of people with high medical needs. Stream number two, low wage workers. Here, the employer must specify if they will train you on the job or whether you need a certain level of experience. Mostly, these unskilled jobs do not need you to have any experience. Stream number three, Foreign Agricultural Workers Here you will work in specific commodity sectors outlined by the Canadian government. Some of them include apiary products, fruits and vegetables, flowers, nursery grown trees, etc. Stream number four is Global Talent Stream. Mostly, employers will use this stream to hire you if you qualify to work as a skilled worker under skill type 0 or skill level A. These categories will become Tier 0 and Tier 1, respectively, starting November 16, 2022. Stream number 5 that you can use to become a temporary foreign worker in Canada is through the high wage workers. In this, you will need an education a credential assessment done on your post-secondary education documents to show which education level in Canada aligns with your qualifications. The requirements to become a temporary foreign worker. The Canadian government requires employers to undergo the LMIA assessment, which proves they cannot find a Canadian or permanent resident to occupy the position you are applying for. The process costs employers a significant amount of money, which is why when you are searching for jobs in Canada Job Bank website, consider those whose employers say they will cover relocation costs, have an LMIA assessment document, or companies who are willing to hire foreigners. This means they are prepared to do whatever it takes to have you relocate and start working in Canada. However, you may consider using the International Mobility Program, IMP, to migrate as a foreign worker because it does not require employers to have LMIA documents. You migrate to Canada in two weeks if you qualify for the IMP. For you to work as a temporary foreign worker, you must number one, get a job offer from a Canadian employer with an approved LMIA assessment document. This proves they are eligible to hire you as a foreign worker. Number two, be admissible to the country. This you prove through a medical exam showing you will not be a health burden to the country's economy. Number three, you should show that you have enough financial aid to sustain you in the country, but with a job offer, you may be exempt from showing proof of funds. Too many scammers out there are confusing foreigners like you with fake jobs that you must pay to get hired before you even land in Canada. The most reliable place to find legitimate job offers to apply as a temporary foreign worker is through the Canada Job Bank website. Here, you can filter all kinds of jobs you want and the specific location you want to migrate to. It also indicates which employers have LMIA approved documents, making it easier for you to get hired by the right company. You should avoid scammers by 
because applying for jobs found on the Canada Job Bank website is completely free and therefore you do not have to pay anything to get hired. If you have been applying for jobs but not getting any responses, remember that so many other job seekers like you are applying. To stand out, ensure that your cover letter and resume are impressive and they show the employer that you indeed qualify to be hired. Each application should be unique according to the specific jobs you are applying to, to increase the chances of being considered. Once the employer receives, assesses and accepts your application, he or she should send you the LMIA document which you will now use to apply for a work permit. Remember the work permit in this case will be specific to this employer who sent you the LMIA document and it is valid for one year. You have an option to change it to open work permit once the period is about to lapse. An open work permit is more reliable because it will allow you to work for multiple employers and more details on the work permits can be found on the link above. So make sure to check them out once you finish watching this video. Now in the next videos, we will explain the streams you can use to work in Canada as a temporary foreign worker in more detail. Please subscribe for more valuable content that will make your immigration journey easier and doable. Remember, we present this information to people who are willing to take the time and do the immigration process themselves because people like you have done it and they have succeeded. If you want to understand the process while using an agent, well and good, you are also welcome to the channel. Now, thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.